Well, guys, we had Matt Hancock slipping his taxpayer-funded aid a bit of the old beef bane it this year. But did you also know we had Labour MPs threatening to go Rambo on her new boyfriend's former pincushion? Or should we actually say former Labour MP because like Corbyn, she got booted out recently and given what we have here, I ain't actually surprised. Some of you might remember Claudia Webb, one of Corbyn's acolytes, spouting their kind of gentle politics a few years back. Well, it was kind and gentle until she gets worried that you might take her bloke back, it would seem. I say this because it seems she's just been convicted of harassment, threatening acid attacks and even threats to expose private pictures of this woman's axe wound to her own kid. Clearly, Claudia sounds like a lovely person if you look past her being a bit partial to threatening acid attacks and sending pictures to people's kids. But what makes this truly comical is the best defence she could muster about those threats was claiming it was just a warning not to break Boris Johnson's latest diktat. Yep, she argued it was all to warn her partner's ex not to meet in during lockdown like that's actually a feasible excuse. In fact, it's the sort of laughable bullshit a child comes out with and even the judge couldn't accept that nonsense, which let's be honest is not surprising, and said he might even stick her in the slammer. This would obviously be fucking hilarious if he does. Naturally, the Telegraph have picked up on this because they're a rather Tory-leaning paper, as you know. They want to mock this bitch, as probably most people will. It is, like I said, pretty funny that she's actually been convicted of all of this, and like it says in the headline, to her partner's ex-girlfriend. It states, MP Claudia Webb could be jailed after conviction for harassing partner's ex-girlfriend. Former Labour MP, described by Jeremy Corbyn as of good character, threatened to carry out acid attack and send out naked pictures of victim. So clearly she sounds like a fucking lovely person, Jeremy Corbyn, though let's be honest, we shouldn't be taking advice from you. What was you kicked out of the Labour Party again, I can't remember. Claudia Webb, the former Labour MP, has been warned she faces a possible prison sentence after being convicted of harassment over a series of threatening phone calls that she made to a former girlfriend of her partner. Jeremy Corbyn described the politician as a person of good character who was committed to the administration of justice in a character reference read out in court on Wednesday. Is he actually having a fucking laugh there or what? Webb, who now sits as an independent for Lester Reese, was found guilty of the charge after a court heard how she threatened Michelle Merritt with acid and told her she would send naked pictures to her daughters. Which obviously is some pretty fucking heinous shit and isn't revenge porn or something like that actually illegal, you go to prison just for doing that. I'm not sure about threatening to do it, though obviously threatening to do it to this woman's daughters is pretty disgusting. But let's be honest, given the sorts of people that are in Parliament, as one of my videos pointed out yesterday, are you surprised? I know for a bloody fact I certainly ain't. The campaign began, it says, after Webb became obsessively jealous of Miss Merritt's relationship with her boyfriend Lester Thomas, a scout with Chelsea Football Club. Webb, who received character references from Mr Corbyn and Diane Abbott, had claimed her phone calls merely had been intended to warn Miss Merritt not to break Covid rules by meeting her boyfriend during lockdown. Which obviously is beyond fucking laughable, I don't even need to go into how stupid that sounds. I mean, how fucking dumb do you actually have to be to think that that's actually going to get anywhere and the judge is really going to believe it? Something that we're going to see here. However, Paul Goldspring, the chief magistrate, rejected her defence and warned her she faced a possible prison term when she's sentenced on November 4th. He said, I do not find the defendant to be cognant, compelling and truthful in all aspects of her evidence. By the sounds of it, she wasn't truthful in any. He added, in short, I find Miss Webb to be vague, incoherent, and at times illogical, and ultimately I find her to be untruthful. That explains why she was one of Corbyn's acolytes, I guess. And obviously, following the verdict, the Labour Party spokesman has said that the Labour Party strongly condemns Claudia Webb's actions and she should now resign. Yep, she should resign her post as an MP, let people contest it and get rid of her because she's clearly not fit for the job. It says if she's given a custodial sentence, the Speaker of the House of Commons could trigger a recall petition which could result in a by-election for the seat that was previously held by Keith Vaz. It goes on, Webb said she was deeply shocked at the verdict and intended to appeal. Given your defence, I'm really not shocked at the verdict. The MP claimed she had only spoken to Miss Merritt out of courtesy to warn her not to breach Covid rules by meeting her partner during lockdown. Yep, it was a courtesy to threaten and throw acid in her face, I guess.
What the actual fuck is wrong with this woman here? She must be out of her bloody mind. It goes on further down. The court was told Webb was jealous of Mr. Thomas' friendship with Miss Merritt, a former girlfriend who he dated about 15 years ago. She was accused of making a series of silent phone calls to Miss Merritt from a withheld number. However, the court heard the harassment had escalated on Mother's Day 2019 when she spoke to her on the phone, called her a slag and threatened to send naked pictures and videos of her to Miss Merritt's daughters. This obviously has me questioning how this woman has naked pictures of another woman on her phone ready to send to people's daughters. It also makes you wonder how stupid Claudia Webb's really got to be to be threatening revenge porn and shit like that. Wasn't she in Parliament when they pushed these laws that said you can't be doing this shit? Maybe not, she might have been a new intake, who knows, does it even really matter at this point? She's likely to be booted out very shortly, I would bet. It actually says it here, it's not clear whether she was in possession of any images, but threatening revenge porn was outlawed following a change in the law earlier this year, so she was definitely in Parliament when it was done, though this is obviously before then. It says Miss Merritt reported the matter to the police in April 2019 and Webb was warned by the police. Despite the warning, the MP made a further 16 calls to Miss Merritt, who was recorded one of them, which was later played to the court. In the recording that was played, Miss Webb can be heard saying, Why are you still butting in and getting with Lester? Why? Why? He's not your friend. He's with me and I don't want you to be in touch with me. I don't want you to be in touch with him. She sounds a little bit possessive, it's got to be said. In the background, Mr. Thomas could be heard shouting, Don't listen to her. Send me a message whenever you like. Michelle, come off the phone and call the police. Miss Webb then screams, Lester, why don't you go and live with her? Take everything and go and live with her. She can be then heard repeatedly shouting, get out of my relationship. Webb was released on unconditional bail until the sentencing hearing. Which I have to say, the end bit there makes me think like she's got herself a little bit of leniency there, some special treatment or some shit like that. Everyone I know that's been sentenced at a magistrate's court has been dealt with there and then and usually sent to the shitter. But as you can see, it certainly doesn't sound like Claudia Webb is innocent in this one, it's got to be said. And in fact, at the time, the boyfriend she was with, whether she's still with him or not, was actually going against her and siding with the woman who was the victim. This is just incredible shit and shows what a real scumbag this woman appears to be. I do have to say though, the whole shit show reading through this article is one of the funniest fucking things I've seen in a while, which given the times we're living through is good. We need a bit of a laugh, and laughing at Claudia Webb here is certainly gonna help with that.